Israel gave civilians still trapped inside Gaza City a four-hour window to leave on Tuesday, saying its forces have surrounded the city and are poised to attack. It's part of their campaign to annihilate the Hamas Islamists who attacked Israeli towns a month ago. Gazans were seen heading south on foot to flee the city on Tuesday. Nassim El Dada is one of them. We don't know where we are going. We are heading south, as they told us to do. We are walking and don't know where we will go. To go to schools, to sleep on the streets, to sleep at people's places, only God knows. The Israeli military posted a video on social media of what it said were Palestinians holding white flags as they moved south in a line. Hamas said the army had forced the people in the video to act that way to humiliate them. Gaza's interior ministry says 900,000 Palestinians are still sheltering in northern Gaza, including Gaza City. Some of them have sought refuge in Al Shifa Hospital. Tents are set up as shelters outside, while mattresses fill the hallways, staircases and even rooftops. Gaza's health ministry said on Monday an airstrike hit a building in the hospital complex, something Israel denies. Fatia Shabir is one of those living there. This is Al Shifa Hospital. A rocket hit the heart of Al Shifa. This killed the children, the innocent, and the poor people who were displaced from their homes. All of Gaza was displaced. Look, the rockets targeted us over there. There is no safety, neither in Al-Shifa nor in refuge camps, or inside homes or on the streets. But we are steadfast until our last day. We call on God's name every day. We are martyrs. The UN humanitarian office said services in the enclave are close to breaking point without fuel supplies. The interior ministry there said without those fuel supplies, all bakeries in the north were out of service. And Paris-based NGO Doctors Without Borders called for a ceasefire in Gaza on Tuesday, saying the situation was catastrophic for the civilian population. Both Israel and Hamas have rebuffed calls for a halt in fighting. Israel says hostages should be freed first. Hamas says it will not free them or stop fighting while Gaza is attacked.